Welcome to day eight of the 21 day healthy living challenge. I'm so glad you're here. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Today is a quick walking workout. So we're gonna just stretch it out just a little bit, get our body loose so we can just get that walking workout in. I hope to motivate you today. There are some days you just don't feel like doing anything. You don't feel like walking, you don't feel like running. I mean, you don't even feel like getting out of bed, but guess what? The Lord made a way, and this is one of those days for me. I'm tired, I do not feel like doing anything at all, but we are already on day eight. So I wanna motivate you, if I can do this, trust me, you can do this workout. And if this doesn't do anything else but motivate you to move, then mission accomplished. So go ahead and start walking. If you don't have a treadmill, you can just go ahead and start marching in place. Or if you're outside, go ahead and start walking. We're not going super fast. We're not jogging today. We're just going to get this walk in. And I just need the extra stretches just to really get going because, like I said, my body was ready to say no workout today. But I want to stay true to our challenge. Go ahead and pick that speed up. We're going to get to walking. We won't be long. As I was researching, I found some benefits to walking which I thought were really cool. Number one, you maintain a healthy weight and lose body fat. So that is something that you may or may not be trying to do, but that is definitely a benefit to maintaining weight or trying to lose weight. That is just really cool that you can get that just by walking. Prevent or manage various conditions, including heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, cancer, and type two diabetes. So just by walking, those are things that are definitely a benefit to your body. Number three, improve cardiovascular fitness. So as you may be trying to improve your fitness and be able to, you know, trying to get to be able to do more. This is a great way to really start off, you know, with your fitness by walking. And I've seen some really, really, really tough walking workouts, which I think will probably add at some point on my channel, um, you know, speeding it up, adding some hill incline, those are great ways to improve cardiovascular fitness. And then number four, it can strengthen your bones and muscles. So as we get older, we know we need to do things that strengthen our bones and muscles. Number five is improve muscle endurance. And it increases energy levels. So as I started this workout, I really did not want to work out. Like I was, it's late. Um, you know, I just had busy, busy week and weekend. And as I started to do the workout, as I'm walking, I'm getting more energy. And it's just funny how the body works because you have to, the, the hardest part is just getting up and going sometimes because once you get going you're fine but sometimes when you think oh man I have to go to the gym or have to get up and get on my treadmill or I have to go for a walk outside that mind thought process can be the hardest part but once you get going you feel better your body you know gets into the groove and you feel like you have accomplished something when you're done. And that makes you feel even better also. How have you all been doing on your eating? This 21 day healthy living challenge is not just working out. 
I want you to evaluate your life and take a look at the foods that you have in your refrigerator, in your cabinets, and change those poor food items that are in there. Take them out and let's just do right by our bodies and feed our bodies the right nutrition. And so that's what we're focusing on with this challenge. I hope that you're doing that and at least making better choices. You don't have to be perfect, but definitely try to make better choices. Also, I pray that you all are reading your word and have found a favorite scripture or a story, something that is motivating you and encouraging you at this time in your life. And today's scripture is Galatians 6 and 9, and it says, And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. This scripture says it all. Do not give up. You don't know what is right around the corner. You don't know what tomorrow holds, what tomorrow will bring. It may look a certain way right now, but God can turn any situation around. So just remember to stay encouraged. Let this workout be a testament that even when you don't feel like doing something, the Lord gives us everything we need to complete the tasks that we have. And the things that we need to do. And so even for this challenge, he's going to give you the strength that you need. He's going to give you the tools that you need in order to take better care of yourself. But you just have to turn it over to the Lord and ask for his help. And even like I said, with this workout, I'm asking the Lord to help me because I want to be an encourager and I want to get through this workout. And that's what we're going to do. Yay, we're almost there. We are almost done. Keep moving one leg in front of the other. You can do it. If you've made it this far in the workout, then I'm giving you two entries for the prize because you know what? You've toughed it out with me today. And the secret word for the day is renew. We are having a renewed mind, a renewed heart, and so make sure you type that down below. Do me a favor and like this video, share it with a friend, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And just like that, we're done. We made it. Thank you, Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.